The new iOS 26 is here and of course it is packed with new features and changes. But of course with these new features and changes there will be also some battery drain on your iPhone. Especially with the initial release and we have to wait for a few more weeks to get new updates that hopefully will improve the battery life. But in the meantime I will show you guys a few tips and tricks that will help you fix the battery drain issues that you might have on your iOS 26 device. Now before to get into all that i just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor i've noticed that most of you guys that watch my videos are still not subscribed to the channel so if you enjoy the videos you find them helpful and you want to see more of them hit that subscribe button it really helps out a lot and first off we're starting with the update now a lot of people have updated to the betas of ios 26 it has actually been the most popular beta ever on ios so make sure that you're updated to the latest version and you're out of the beta meaning that you will have to have the rc installed now even with the rc installed there is still a new update which is really interesting what apple has done so basically when you go to the software update page you will go ahead and turn off the beta updates right here if you're on the rc of ios 26 turn them off right here and then go back and you will see an update right here at the bottom it says also available you go ahead go there and update it is a new build that has been released but it won't show if you have the betas enabled make sure that you disable the betas and then go ahead and update your device to the latest version now with ios 26 apple has added a pretty cool new feature on the lock screen for the wallpapers it is called spatial scenes and you enable it using this button right here it has has that really cool 3d effect on the lock screen of your device but of course all that motion all that effect will actually require battery power so make sure you have that disabled as well just tap right there make sure you have that line crossed right there on the icon meaning that the spatial effect is actually disabled for your device next up will be the new adaptive power feature of ios 26 so head on to your settings and then go under the battery settings and then go to power mode right here will have adaptive power now this is a very useful new feature that apple has added for batteries on ios 26 it will basically help your iPhone get better battery life. So you can see right here it says when your iPhone's battery usage is higher than usual, your iPhone can extend your battery life by making performance adjustments. So everything of course will be done automatically, you simply enable it right here. Now with a big new release like this, there will be of course also a ton of updates for apps. A lot of apps will be updated to better perform and be more compatible with the new iOS 26. So what I suggest you do is head on to your app store, go to your account and make sure that you have all of your apps up to date. It is really, really important that you have the latest version of all the apps that you use daily on your iPhone because at the end of, of course, those are the ones that will consume the most battery on your iPhone. So make sure you have all your apps are up to date or if you just don't want to bother with that, you can always go to the app section right here and then go to the app store and make sure that you have app updates enabled under automatic updates meaning that the apps will be updated automatically every time there's a new update released on the app store now when talking about apps you also need to take a look at the apps that are using the battery the most on your iphone so head on to your settings go under the battery section and see the list of apps that are using the battery now of course you will see here apps that you use a lot on your device but what i'm saying here is that if you see an app here that you actually don't use a lot, but it's still consuming a ton of battery, maybe it's time for you to actually remove that app from your device. Go ahead and just delete it completely. And you will of course be able to find a ton of alternatives on the app store because there might be apps that are poorly coded or not proper for a device and they consume a ton of battery even though you don't use them a lot. Next up, we're moving under the new iMessage app with a ton of new features and changes and the ability to now add backgrounds to your conversations those are cool if you use just a still photo but there will be also animated backgrounds that you can add to your conversations and those of course will consume battery you can see right here we have one of those that you can set you can switch between different colors right here it is cool of course but it does consume battery so if you just want to use a background for your conversations make sure you, you, that you use a color or just use a still image that you might have on your device 
Next up, we're talking about Apple Intelligence. Now, there are, of course, now a ton of devices with Apple Intelligence from the iPhone 15 series and up. All the devices will have Apple Intelligence. But in my opinion, you should turn it off completely if you don't actually use it. Now, I use it very, very rarely on my device. And that way, I don't even need to have it enabled. Of course, these features will consume battery. Even when you're not using them, they're working on the background staying ready of course to be used and giving you all kinds of different suggestions so if you don't actually need or use the new apple intelligence features make sure that you go under settings go under apple intelligence and siri and completely turn it off from here now the next thing you want to do is head on to the general settings and right here you will find a section that says background app refresh. Now this one is actually really important and it has a huge impact on the battery life of your iPhone. So right here you will have apps that are able to refresh in the background even where you're not using them. So we can see a list of apps here you can just go ahead and turn them off. Most of the apps that you have here don't actually need to be refreshing in the background so just take Take a look at the list of the apps that you have and just turn off as many as you can. Now, another thing that will have a huge impact on your battery life is of course location services. So under privacy and security right here we have location services. Now I keep it off all the time. Only when I need it I turn it on. In my opinion that's the best way to use location services. Of course you won't be needing it all the time. Most people won't actually. So just go ahead and turn it off completely and enable it when you need it or if you want to have it enabled then go ahead and take a look at the apps right here that do have access to your location so if i go to an app right here you can see this is the worst configuration you can have always allow the location and precise location now this right here is a widget app i don't really want this app to have my precise location because it doesn't need to so we turn it off right there and then we can go ahead and choose here while using the app and not always so make sure that you configure these the right way and of course for a ton of apps they don't ever need to have your location so just go ahead and choose never now the same goes here for system services so head on under system services and then go right here to significant locations and right here you will have a list of locations that you visit the most ios will automatically save them here so what you want to do is just completely turn it off now you can turn it off from here and if you're actually not using location services you won't have any records here even though it might be enabled like you could see it right here i had it enabled and i have zero records that's because i keep location services turned off most of the time but if you have location services turned on then make sure to turn off significant locations and roads next up let's talk about brightness now ios has actually a really really smart way of managing the brightness of your device so right here you will find display and text size if you go here you will have auto brightness at the bottom now have it turned off right now because i'm shooting the video otherwise i will keep this on all the time and i see a lot of people will actually just turn it off and most of the time have the brightness of the screen way up that just does drain a lot of the battery from your iphone so what i suggest you do always make sure that you actually have the brightness turned into automatic right here under the settings app next up we're talking about wi-fi now the use of the wi-fi will actually save a ton of battery on your iphone nowadays of course most people will have unlimited data plans and they just prefer to use 5g most of the time that will consume a ton of battery like the consumption of battery when you compare wi-fi to 5g is very very different wi-fi will actually use a lot less battery than your data so make sure that you use wi-fi most of the time and when it comes to data here's something that you should do if you're on a place where you have really good 5G coverage, then of course you can go ahead and use 5G. But if you know that the 5G coverage is actually not that good in your area, then just go ahead and move back to 4G or LTE because your iPhone trying to connect all the time to 5G will drain the battery out of your iPhone really, really quick. So if you know again that you don't have really good 5G coverage, just move back to 4G or LTE. 
Next up, we're talking about AirDrop. So head on to the general settings and then go to AirDrop right here. Now with AirDrop, what I suggest you do, first of all, bringing devices together, just turn that off. Now it was a really cool feature way back when it was presented by Apple. It looks cool, but most of the time you won't probably use it or maybe you have never even used it on real life. So go ahead and turn that off and also turn off receiving. If you're not just sending or receiving files all day long, then just go ahead and turn off receiving. Anytime you need a file, you can just go ahead and turn it off from turn it on from the control center. That way you don't have it active all the time just scanning for devices near you. Now another thing I suggest you do is use dark mode most of the time on your device actually dark mode will help a lot with the battery. So of course you can set it on automatic right here or you can just go ahead and set a custom schedule if you want to from here. But of course you will be able to also use that manually. You turn off this button and just choose the dark mode if you just wanna use it always. Dark mode will save a ton of battery on your iPhone because all the pixels that you see on the screen of your phone, of course the newer screens, all the pixels that are black are actually pixels of the screen that are completely turned off. They don't display a black color, they just turned off that way that consumes way less battery. Now another thing you wanna make sure that you manage properly on your iPhone are notifications. A lot of notifications will drain the battery of your iPhone. So head on to the notification section right here and just choose just the apps that you actually need to send you notifications. For other apps, of course, you can just add a schedule summary right here, add the apps that you need and you're good to go. But for most apps, you actually don't need notifications. Like there are a ton of games or like apps that you don't actually need or are not that like important. So just go ahead and turn off the notifications for most of the apps that you can. Now, another thing I suggest you do is make sure that you manage the widgets that you have on your home screen and lock screen as well, especially widgets that do need to be updated all the time, like weather widgets, news widgets, maybe the stock widget. Those are widgets that do display information and are updated all the time, and they will drain a ton of battery out of your iPhone. So make sure you remove them and just keep the ones that you actually need. And for the last three tips, we're moving under the accessibility settings right here. We have here some really important ones. First of all, we have here the music haptics. So if you go to music haptics and you have this enabled, you will have now a new way here to choose the intensity. Now this will give you a haptic feedback when the music is playing. Now this feature will drain a ton of battery because everything that does actually use the haptic engine on your iPhone does consume a lot of battery. So if you don't really need this feature, make sure that you have it turned off completely. And then is sound and name recognition. This is another feature that does drain a lot of battery. Like you can see a pattern right here on the, all the tips that I'm showing you guys. Everything that basically has to work all the time in the background, even though it might not seem as a big deal, it does consume a ton of battery and throughout the day, one feature consumes, let's say, 2-3% battery, another 2-3% battery, and of course, that will have then a huge impact. So sound recognition and name recognition, make sure you have these turned off if you don't really, really need them. And last but not least, we're going to Siri here, and then you will find something called Always Listen for the Siri word, you know what it is. So if you have this enabled, what your iPhone will do is that it will always be listening for the command, the Siri word or the hey, and then of course it will consume battery because this will make a Siri stay active and waiting for that command even when your iPhone is in your pocket or facing down on table, it will always be listening for that command. So that does consume a ton of battery. So make sure you have that turned off as well. So that's basically it for this video guys. These are 20 tips and tricks that will help you fix the battery drain issues on your iOS 26 device. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully these tips will help and I will see you guys on the next one.